Yo, what's going on guys? Bachi Kibbles here and welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, yeah, so I haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, reason being, um, I planned to uh, obviously have the car, you know, up and running, good to go. Um, but it's just not happening. Still no inspection. Um, you guys might be able to see that. Uh, got a parking pass there. Um, so basically I've been driving illegally, which I mean, I can make videos and stuff, but eh, like I can't really go anywhere. I mean, I could go around my area and where I live and stuff, but I don't know. And uh, I kind of have to get some stuff. So like I want to get uh, a GoPro set up for the dash. Um, maybe a chest mount. You know, something like that. Um, you know. Um, otherwise, uh, I think the last video that I really put out was uh, the car starting. So, um... The car starts and runs perfectly fine. I mean, it kind of has a tick, which makes no sense because it didn't have one when it was in the junkyard. The motor ran fine. Uh, my car still isn't reading temp, and if you guys can help, please, please help. Um, so, brand new radiator, brand new thermostat, brand new uh, temp... <coughs> sorry brand new temp sensor and still nothing you're getting nothing in the car um this past weekend i literally uh just found a couple grounds that were missing put them in and nothing's changed um which is crazy because it's just not making any sense and like my radio was working my radio, my, uh, the speakers that I put in, it was just doing great, and now it's all fucked up again, and now the radio shuts off and stuff, and it's kind of crazy, um, also very annoying, um, when you're not able to tell if your car is overheating or not. Um, the fans don't kick on, which I have a single fan. Um, so if you guys can help with that, be so grateful. I'm thinking of replacing the cluster, like going back to the junkyard, because the other uh, neon that I got the motor from is there. So I figured just go and take that and see if we could at least get temperature or something. Um, so far, the computer hasn't been resetting which has been a major setback as well. So, but as of right now, we don't see any codes penning, nothing like that. So, my second theory is uh, maybe the computer is just bad, um, which really sucks because RTs are so rare, especially if I need to find a 2000, my car is a 2002, um, so if you guys know or have um, a 2002 uh, Dodge Neon RT computer, please hit me up. Like, seriously, like, I've, I don't know what's wrong with this thing, and I need it to be functional so that I could get more money to help grow this channel. Um, because I want to do a lot with this thing, like, you know? I have some pretty good ideas already, but I need some money to work with. Um, and yeah, so getting back to the trunk, uh, you know, this looks like crap if you guys don't know. Um, I scraped all that crappy paint. Um, what I learned was this whole entire rear quarter panel was replaced. Um, and it, was done pretty crappily, um, 
and yeah, as you can see, so I thought the leaks were coming from here, so I put silicone here, but it didn't react really well with the weather and stuff, so that didn't really work. Um, as you guys see here, I still get water issues here in the back, as you can see, both uh, rear uh, sunroof hoses are unclogged, and I thought those were just clogging up, and actually, this whole time, I've been wrong. So, um, the other night, I seen water coming through here on this knob, and this could be why uh, my taillights, or re not taillight, uh, reverse lights don't work. So, if you guys know anything about, like, you know, taillight seals or something like that, uh, let me know. Um, be very, very helpful. Um, also, i seen comments about uh, this seal. Um, this seal is pretty beat up, but you can see the line where it's sealing. So it's being sealed around the whole entire trunk, so that can't really be an issue. Like, look, you can kind of see the mold that's on there just from the moisture when the water is in here. I also hear... Of course, now that I'm recording, it doesn't do anything. But I hear water in the spoiler. Um, so... That brings me to, uh, if you guys have or selling, um, an art, I mean, SRT4 wing, hit me up. Uh, I want an SRT4 ring, preferably red, because my car is red, but it doesn't matter. If you guys have one, hit me up. Uh, and yeah, you can kind of seal, see that the seals are a bit, like, gone and stuff. Um, also, one day I've seen, like, some water around the taillight thing, my bobber there, so that could be it, um, so, as you can see, um, what I did was, with my silicone, uh, I just laid a pretty fat bead, as you can see, uh, and just built up a layer, uh, to keep the water, as you could kind of see, it didn't work as uh, this weather lately has been so shitty, the silicone literally still isn't dried at all. So, but the other night when it was raining, um, it actually held a lot of water here. As you can see, something happened there, but, you know, just do that and it should fix itself. Um, back here, because the cord is here, it's letting some water through. Um, but, you know... That's not too bad. Um, so, if you guys are having issues like this, like, you know, I'm gonna lay, hopefully that dries, or if it doesn't, I'm just gonna rip it up and find something else. Maybe go to Home Depot or something and find something to put there. Maybe flex tape, maybe. I don't know. And make a barrier there and maybe drill a hole in there so that it at least runs out like you can see that there's water in here and it's another ridiculous thing so uh if you guys have any tips or suggestions please let me know uh i try and help you guys out as you guys help me out so much well kind of lied about that nobody's really helped me that much um but yeah so you guys might be wondering what other mods i want to do um i want to get an srt4 rear bumper take off my tailpipes and put a fart can on and uh yeah guys that's it